41-year-old bride-to-be Sherry is driving from Southend-on-Sea with Mum Jane and Maid of Honour Emma. The fact that, that Joe and Al both know what it's like to be bigger ladies, so you haven't got some size 10 young girl judging you while you're standing there in your smalls. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry started a family with fiancé Paul five years ago, which was just one of the reasons they postponed their wedding. Shopping on any level is um, really nerve-wracking experience for me. Are you excited? Here we are, look! I have a lot of hang-ups about my body. As you can see, I like to cover up as best I can. So how are you feeling today, Sherry? <sighs> oh, why? Just don't like shopping, don't do shopping. Oh. So is this like a real big chore for you? Yeah. It's all her fault. <laughs> well, she was looking on Amazon, oh. eBay, for, you know, £99 dresses. Oh. She was talking about trouser suits. Do you have an idea of what it is you want? I want to cover my belly, my boobs, my bum, <laughs> my back and my arms, yes, but I not look like a nun. But, so I'm <laughs> thinking a double duvet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you've already written yourself off, haven't you, really? Mm. And that's not good at 42. Sherry, let me tell you now. I'm 42 and I deserve everything. So if I do, you do too. I want to give you what you're asking for. Sleeve. So. Oh, that's the one I looked at on the website. <sighs> See, now, like, you, it's almost like you're going to cry with relief. Let me tell you, this is not your dress. <laughs> I absolutely guarantee it. It's the first one we'll try on, mind you. <laughs> but this is what you think you want, Sherry. I can say to Sherry, Till the cows come home, this is not the dress for you. But I'm not going to tell her that. I'm going to show her that. OK, now you can all open your eyes. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Exactly what I tried not to get. It just looks disgusting. I'm sorry, but it really does look awful. She'd pinned so much on this style of dress. This dress was her comfort zone. This dress was going to get her through this wedding day that she had been dreading up until this point. I, my heart's set on something and now... But listen... It's completely wrong. No, it's not. It absolutely is not, because your perfect dress is here. You thought you had to wear something like this because you wouldn't have a choice. No, I haven't got a clue. Right. So that's why me. you're here. You deserve the fairy tale. This is not the fairy tale. It really did knock me sideways because I thought that that was the dress I wanted and what I would feel perfect in, and it couldn't have been further from that. Putting this dress on you wasn't to make you look stupid, it was to make you see for yourself that actually maybe this isn't the road I want to go down. You know what, Sherry? This dress needs to go back on its hanger and hang up there, and now we need to start looking for your dress. It is not the end of the world. Everybody deserves their happy ever after, and hers starts here. I think now we need to get a dress on her where she can see that she's got shape. She can see how amazing that she really is. But more than that, she deserves it. Fits you perfectly. Don't look so surprised. <laughs> Let's do it. Close my eyes? Yes, closing your eyes. Of course, closing your eyes. Now, step up. OK, open your eyes. Wow. That's better. Oh, that's lovely. It's really pretty. Your waist is so yeah, tiny. Yeah, definitely. It shows I have a waist. Figure. That fits really well, that top bit. Yeah, I love this bit. <laughs> Still got my arms out, though. But you know what? That wasn't the first thing you no. opened your eyes and picked up on. Mm. No, you picked up on the shape, the figure. Yeah, love this. Where did that come from? Oh, my goodness. There was just a waistline, which I'm still quite stunned was even there, to be honest. I like it. I like it. It's lovely. I love the detail on the top, but I'm not quite sure that it's actually the dress. Mm. I mean, what am I supposed to 
feel or react? Am I not? Am I supposed to not burst into tears and say, "Oh my God, this is it. I love Do you know it." What? And... Everyone's different. Yeah. But I am a believer in you'll know when you've got it on. This is not her dress, but I feel that she actually is trusting us. She's just letting me choose whatever I want to choose. So let's have a little go with the ruffles. So this one is a size smaller. So with a corset dress, when you're pulling the corset tight, it's like a tube of toothpaste when you squeeze it in the middle. It goes up. She's giving me a little bit on so that she can go and look. That's better. Then we've decided, you know what, we could put a little modesty panel in here just to make it modest. Closing your eyes. <laughs> you're ripping my hand for dear life. <laughs> OK, stop. Al had advised me that I'm not going to like what's going on up here. It was really nerve-wracking. Open your eyes. Oh, my God, I love it. I really, <laughs> really love that. I just loved it. I didn't think I'd like anything like that, actually, but it was just really pretty and feminine and, and it sort of made me want to swish it around like it like I did when I was a little girl with dresses on. I think it's lovely. It's definitely you. The bling, the way it fits, your waist, the tiny waist. Oh, that's incredible. I can't get over that. Doesn't it? I can it? still breathe. I knew you had a good figure under there. <laughs> <laughs> I really love that. It is lovely. Oh, Mum. Oh. I haven't seen her in a pretty good girl's dress since she was about six. <laughs> I love it. I just feel really happy for her because I know now that she's going to have the confidence on the day and she's going to have a really special day. Right, I think we're good. We were even discussing about her clothes she was wearing that, you know, she needs to start wearing a belt now to <laughs> show off the waist. And <laughs> she almost agreed with us. Yes. <laughs> Happy? Yeah, I can see how happy you are. Oh, look at that veil. That's beautiful. I love it. It's almost like we've got a different woman standing in front of us. For somebody who wanted every inch of flesh to be covered, you're standing here with no sleeves and it's not an issue. I look like I'm going to get married. <laughs> and you didn't think you deserved it, but you 100% do. It is very overwhelming, actually. Oh. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm looking at you. Are you sure you're in the right shop? I don't see an awful lot of you, to be you're fair. You're not that plus size. Oh, I'm, well, I'm well hidden. <laughs> I've, I've learned how to dress from a shape. Well, if animal print is that good at a disguise, it's a miracle, and I'm going to start wearing it. That's all I can say. I don't really have anything that I like to hide apart from tummy. I've been much, much bigger, so I've lost about half my body weight. Who have you brought with you today, Natalie? Um, so this is my friend Fish. Hello. And this is my mum, Sharon. Hello. They're, they're honest to the point of brutal, but I appreciate it because I'm exactly the same. Blunt. But we will be kind, yes? Well, mostly. <laughs> we didn't design the dresses, so for you to be brutal, if you don't like something about the dresses, we won't be offended. Ish. Ish. So what sort of a dress are you looking for, Natalie? I'm really open to trying on anything, any shape, any style, whatever you think might suit. Very feminine. That's really lovely. I mean, it's a little bit like curtains in a way in, in some respect, but I've been more than willing to try it. I think it's different. It's really nice. Right. This is definitely a statement. Part of me doesn't like the, the lace on the top that then goes into nothing, but I like the colour. This. No. You say no, what is it about um, this that's... I don't like the neckline, I don't like the fabric look, I don't like the belt, I don't... No, no. God, no. Natalie! Ooh! OK, you've got some fabulous dresses. Come with me. Let's try on some dresses. So baggy clothes, animal print, doesn't show us what's underneath. This dress will show us exactly what we're dealing with. I think it's 
about like trying different shapes and different styles because I have no idea what suits me. You've got an incredible shape, you really have. Thank you. You could literally wear a bin liner and it would look amazing. Well, I tell you what, if the budget doesn't stretch, there's plan B. <laughs> closing your eyes, and you're closing your eyes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Stop right there. Open your eyes. No, no. God, no. No. Mum? No, no, no. White. Right. Looks like a tablecloth. Looks like a what? Tablecloth. <laughs> it does. I have to say, it was the quickest no I've ever heard in my life. Oh, my God, I hated it. Like, I wanted it off straight away. I felt like my body was burning. Um, I don't like the fit. I don't like the lace where it is. I don't like this band. I don't like this. I don't know, no, no, no. No, thank you. Natalie, it's a no. She really doesn't like this dress. OK, uh, shall we do another? We're not off to a bright start here. Open your eyes. All of us? Yeah. Yep. Surprising. The shape here is really, really nice. I feel like a, a bit of a fairy tale character at the moment. It was quite nice, um, but I just... something didn't quite click. Something's not you don't ringing know it for me. the dress. No, I don't. I, I really like the colour on the overjean dress. Um, really like the fitting at the top. I'm not sure it's the right dress. It's not a bride's dress. It's not the one. I like it, I don't love it. And well, then it's no good. Is this the first time, actually, that you've really seen your figure properly in a fitted dress? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I normally try and wear quite baggy, baggy clothes. Because you keep going back to that comment, oh, I don't look big, I look quite slim. Oh, once, once you're a big girl, you're always a big girl. This beautiful blush pink dress, it's less is more with just that little bit of diamante on the belt. Will this be ticking boxes? OK, open your eyes. I loved it on the hanger, but... Doesn't look I, right I on me. I don't so much love it now. Doesn't look right on me. It was candy floss, like it was fairground chic. Do you know what, if I went like this, I think you'd find loo rolls under here. Sometimes it's better to say nothing at all and smell sweetly and move on to the next. So let's do another. And stop. Open your eyes. Mmm. Different. Very different. Very white as well, but glittery. Holy moly. We can see hips, we can see waist. Not a lot of boob, but we can work on that and that sparkle. It's amazing. It's a nice shape. It would appear that maybe Natalie quite likes this dress well, I mean, what do you know? Look at, I have hips. Look at my hips. I really like the embellishment in the top of the dress. Yes. And I think it suits her figure really yes. nicely. Because she's tall. Yeah. I think she needed that longer length. I like this one. I like it. Makes you tiny. I prefer this fit. She likes the shape. It needs to be smaller on the bust. It needs to have a bit of a sleeve. OK, open your eyes. How do you feel? It feels like a bridey dress, I'd say, which I didn't think I would have. I like it. I like the colour, I like the fit. I really like it. Really, really like it. I feel like I've got a figure, which is quite nice. You've worked really hard for that figure, really hard, and I would be wanting to show it off as well. Absolutely. I think it's really, really lovely. I think it's your dress. <laughs> You're saying. Why do you think it's her dress? Because it looks beautiful on her. I love the dress. I nearly cried, so I love the dress. Mm. It's this one. I like this it's one. It's this one. I like oh. it. Oh! She looks mm. gorgeous in it. I really, really like it, and it's so shiny. It's so shiny. It was so super fitted, bridal, and the zip went up. 
that's not supposed to happen like to people like me. So Natalie, is this your dress? Yeah, I like it a lot. Oh, can do it well. Congratulations. She's doing the shashai. Shishi. Yeah, I love it. Really like it. The dress is absolutely stunning. I need to just take these out because these are offending me a little <laughs> bit now, the way they're poking right out. Was Natalie hard work? Natalie was really hard work, but I won't be beaten. Natalie's chose her dress her way. She loves how she feels in this. Yay! I think it was quite nice to actually find a dress, regardless of colour, style or anything like that, that actually suited me. Dawn has come to the boutique with her friends, Becky and Hannah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so what must your dress have? I just think maybe impact. I think I just want that people to go, oh, wow. So you want something a bit different, but you're kind of different. Yeah. Dawn is planning on wearing this electric blue leather jacket on her wedding day. Doctor Who slash Little Mermaid. Oh. So we've had it made for the wedding. Wow. That's, that's a look. Mark's going away before the wedding. Mark's going to be working away in Germany for at least a month, if not a month and a half. Oh. oh, so you won't see him? No. Oh, Whoa. so you've got to knock his socks off? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Dawn, that is a lot of pressure. So the dress is from Phyllis. That blush one, perfect for Dawn. Perfect. This is a new dress. We've had it shipped from America, and Dawn is the first to have it on. What? Well, open your eyes. Wow. Don was going free mind. Um, it's just it's beautiful. It's yeah, it's lovely. You're a little bit speechless, Don, aren't you? Yeah, I didn't expect it. I really wanted it to look really nice, and then I wasn't expecting it to look as nice as it does. Does it feel like the one? I don't know. It is beautiful. There's definitely a but. Mm. What is that but? There's no but. I just, I want to be 150% sure that it's it's the one. This dress is one of my all-time favourites. This is going to show Dawn just how banging that little body is. And sometimes when you need a bride to see what you see, this dress, this is the one. OK, then. Open your eyes. Wow. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel very exposed. It's not doing what you think it is. It's not showing. Not at all. No. Hand up and look. It, it, you've got a waist. And it's not sitting where you think it is. It's not showing any of your stomach that you don't like. It's showing this. She needs to see the beautiful Dawny that has always been there. And she needs to make peace with that person. I want to shake her sometimes because yeah. she, she, she just doesn't see it and I don't understand why. Because it's so easy for everybody else to see it. Yeah. I, I just don't feel like it's me. I don't... I'm looking at me from... I'm not looking at me, I'm looking from there down at the dress. I'm not looking at me. The one thing you always say about me is how much you like my waist, because my waist goes in. Your waist goes in. You've got it. She is perfect hourglass. She looks insane. But does she have the confidence to pull that look off? Let's just see how it looks with the jacket, shall we? Oh, wow. Well, now then, here we are. <laughs> Does that change things? This is my my final decision, isn't it? And there's no there's no change in my mind. There's no going back. There's no going back and analysing it. You're overthinking <clears throat> it. So just yeah. say what you see and say what you feel. No one's feelings going to be hurt at all. Just say it. <sighs> I don't know. You look amazing, and. I don't... I've never understood with you why you can't see it, why you can't feel it, why 
You have to let what stupid people have said to you in the past get to you. Oh. Are you worried about what people are going to say? Um, I'm worried. No, I'm worried about what I'm going to say when I see the pictures afterwards. Oh. Do you want to try something else on Dawn? She's, she's had issues with bullies as such in the past that have said things about her, and I think no matter how old you get, I think that's tough to shake. It's that that sticks, and I think. That's what hurts Dawn the most. Okay, and up. Right, so you need to have a black background to be able to see, because otherwise the white gets lost in the white. You wear a dress bag amazingly well. <laughs> okay. Open your eyes. I definitely still don't like that bit. Slip your arm free. Yeah, definitely prefer it without anything there. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it. Dawn, not hearing a lot from you. I like it, but I think it's not different enough. I felt like it was really nice. It flattered my figure, but it, it felt too, too bridal, too normal. It felt like something that I could pick off the rack. It just didn't have that little extra bit, that extra something. I don't know whether you guys agree, but I think if we It's try... not their decision, it's yours. I'm, I'm not interested. If we Just try the first one on with the jacket, because if it doesn't match the jacket, then it's got, it, can't, it, it can't be the dress. Dawn stood in front of the mirror and she actually made a decision for herself. Now, that decision might have been a no, this dress isn't for me, but it's a decision nonetheless. Right. right. How are we feeling? Ex a little bit excited, actually, for the first time. <laughs> Hold the line cooler. <laughs> She's excited. Right, let's make it a little bit more excited, because let's put a veil on that matches the colour, shall we? And step up. OK, Dawn. Do it. What do you think? You know we like this one. There's one thing, though. The jacket. The jacket. Wow. That's the look I was going for. Yeah, this is the one. I made a decision. What? <laughs> you might have to pick me up in a minute, Anne. <laughs> and the world hasn't exploded. Dawn, is this your dress? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Say it a bit more and you might believe it. It is. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Can we just take a moment? Dawn has made a decision and she has chosen her own wedding dress. Oh, happy days. I'm a very big believer in fate and I think that maybe this was... We were meant to meet me in this dress. I don't think I could have done it without you two. Well, you four. I think what we helped her with was to trust her own judgment to go with how she felt as opposed to how she thinks other people will feel. So long as she believes she can rock that dress, she can rock it. We're going to be at a wedding. I love a bit of Gretna Green. So, yeah, I can't wait.